<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all, hopefully quickly here, if you have or you're trying to install ps 3 hen 3.2.0, and it seems to keep freezing either during install or just when trying to launch it, how we can resolve that issue. This is a known issue which seems to hopefully be resolved after PS3 HIN 3.2.0, but while this is the current version here, this is typically tied to an older version of Webman Mod just clashing with PS3 HIN 3.2.0. So what I'm going to show you all is how to get past that freeze, as well as how to fix it in the future. So for this, we're going to need really a couple things. We're going to need our PS3 that has a PS3 HIN, or the one we're wanting to install PS3 HIN on, and we're also going to need a USB drive. So with that, let's go ahead and move over to our computer, because there's going to be a couple things we'll need. If you're upgrading a PlayStation 3 which previously had Webman Mod installed, that's going to be the issue here, so you will need to download the latest version of Webman Mod. I'll have it linked down below in the description, and you can just click download for the latest package and save it somewhere you can easily find it. Now, if you're familiar with modifying or even just installing packages on the PlayStation 3, you should know by now you will need a USB flash drive that is set to the FAT32 file system, and of course set up with MBR, not GPT. So for this here, we can go into our USB drive, and what you'll need is you'll need the latest webman mod package. Simply copy it out and paste it to the root of that USB drive, just like that. Next, we're going to create a second file here. For this, if you're using Windows here, but you can do the same on whichever equivalent operating system you are using, make sure that file name extensions is enabled. On Windows, you can go to View, Show, and Enable File Name Extensions. Next, we need to right click here and we're going to create a new text document. We're going to call it boot underscore plugins dot txt. It needs to look exactly like this. Once that's done, we're all good to go at this point. We're not going to put anything in that text document. We just need a blank text document sitting on the USB drive. With those two files copied over, we can now go back over to our drives, right click eject, and move the drive back over to our PlayStation 3. Over at your PlayStation 3, plug in your USB drive, make sure it is showing, and with your USB drive plugged in, we can now continue with either installing PS3 HIN or activating it. In this case here, I'm actually going to be installing it again on this system. So for this, I'm going to go to the web browser. Thankfully, I have the PS3 HIN auto installer already pulled up. Let's go ahead and go through this. And let's go ahead and try to do the auto install. There we go. And as you can see, there we go. We have all of this here. It shows the latest version available. And now it's going to pull down the latest installer, which is great. We were able to get past that freeze. So just give this some time here if you're going to be installing this. Now, if you were someone who is installing PS3 HIN, still keep your USB drive plugged in. And once your system reboots, you're going to want to enable HIN. Give this a few moments to enable. Once we have that enabled, at this point, we can go to the package manager, install package files, standard, and you'll want to install the latest version of Webman mod. Just grab the package file and install it. There we go, we can now press back. At this point, go ahead and unplug your USB drive because we're not going to need it for the final step here. You can now scroll down to Webman Mod and you can install it. Now, personally, I prefer to install the full version, so I'm going to hold down the L1 button and then tap the X button and continue to hold down L1 while the system reboots and does everything here. Now that our system has been rebooted and we've installed the latest version of Webman Mod, I'm just going to show you all right here, I do not have a USB drive plugged in. So at this point, we can now enable HIN and see what happens. Here we go, we got PS3 HIN 3.2.0 and we have Webman Mod enabled which is fantastic because as you can see, we now have Webman games, we have the latest Webman mod running, and we do not have a freeze when enabling HIN. That's all there is to it. Thankfully, you should be good to go at this point. Anyways, that's about it for this video here. If it helped out, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. As I always say, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.